Hello there, everybody. Welcome back for some more Metroid Fusion. Um, it's been a bit... Oh, yeah, that's right. I was gonna say, it's been a bit since I've done this. Well, since I've played this. It's been a few days. I don't exactly remember, or I even have really the best memory sometimes with things, so... I apologize. I kind of just remember it as, like, okay, so... You know, like, which boss are we probably gonna have to go fight soon? That kind of thing. And then, for this room, I forgot that we got the space jump now, so... We can finally use that to get up to potentially, maybe even better places. That might need me to get up there. I don't know. But yeah, I, I decided to record this today, because why not? Um, because I'm dumb like that, I guess. <laughs> I mean, eh. It's fine. It's no biggie. Uh, now that we got space jump, I don't remember if they told us. Fire outage caused by plant roots and core. Investigate. Well, I don't really have a target to go to. I mean... We already kind of cleared up most of this area. I don't... I don't know. I don't know where he would want me to go. I don't know. Well, either way, we'll find our way through... And we'll just continue on, I guess. Most likely, maybe, potentially, like, we gotta go back. Not this way. No? We can? Oh, okay. Yeah, because by now, everybody kind of hatched, so... I guess, in theory, we always have... Let's go fucking re Let's go heal. When I say regenerate, let's go, let's go heal. Let's go back to the spaceship real quick. Get a nice big save. Get a nice big heal. So I don't have to do all that shit. Worry about too much crap. Worry about anything potentially killing me. I.e., you know, potentially a boss. Confirm mission. Yeah, sure. Okay, so everything's back online. No elevators or hatches will work without the main silo online. We're still stuck. But the problem the source of vegetarian is something you saw where they're choking the reactor core components. Okay, so we gotta find the root, literally, of the vines, pretty much, so, yeah. Gotta do a bit of boy kissing, and then, uh, we'll get there. I have no fucking clue what, I just, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying words that I see, that's it. What, you think I got something wrong with boys kissing? Hell no. Why would I? No, I don't want to confirm the fucking objective. By the way, I'm literally just talking about, like, an actual video. I, I, you know, I keep digging my own grave. Like, everybody's gonna, probably going to think, like, I've got some weird fucking... I don't know. I don't want to say it on YouTube, because, you know, YouTube... I'm just going to think I'm weird. I'm already, like, put my own foot in my mouth. Why are the greens off? Because the fucking elevators are off, that's why. Because the fucking elevators are off, that's why. God motherfucking damn it. It's always the elevators are off. Always. All the time. Let's just randomly just start moaning right here on... On recording, that'd be kind of funny, I guess. Oh, that's right, everything's down. Well, then, what the fuck? Like, I mean, where... I mean, the elevators are off. All that shit's off. I don't exactly know where they want me to go. I guess we're going to go back to the vegetation room, because the only doors that are theoretically open right now are just these. So, the qu that kind of begs the question, like, if these doors are open, then what's the fucking point of... You know, having them, I guess. Well, there's this door, but that leads back to the ship. We don't need to go back to the ship. I think, if I remember correctly, I think Dread does, like, the same thing, where they have, like, a situation where... Um, yeah, yeah, it actually has kind of been a while since I played Dread, to be fair. But they had, like, a, a similar situation where things just kind of... Uh, require you to kind of, like, backtrack a bit. And, like, remember, like, okay, yeah, that's right, so I gotta go do this thing. I mean, technically every game does backtracking shit, but yeah. And here we go. 
I pretty much just forgot all this. I'm just going to power bomb it because it's probably going to take way less time to bother with it, to be honest with you. Oh, I... Oh, that's not good. Okay, good thing we healed, though, because I would have been fucking toast had I not healed. And I think, if I remember correctly, I think we need to power bomb this room. And, uh, yeah, we are so fucking dead. Yes, it's good that I saved the game, but we are so fucking dead if I don't find some way somehow to hide. Oh, thank fucking God. You saw how much damage that she just did initially to me. That... That is fucking stupid. Like, that is stupid amounts of damage. I'm surprised you didn't hear that. Oh yeah, we're supposed to go back. I think now we can probably go down that way. See, this is one of those cases of, like, it makes sense. Because I used the bomb to find that. But, like, I still kind of wish that you could just shoot it. Let's see. What's... Yeah, can't go there. Can't go back up here. And then potentially not get killed by random bugs that just are going to spawn. I guess they're going out that way. You know what? No. I'll play the way I play. <laughs> I'm not here to prove anything. I'm not here to show off. God Christ. Like I said, Mike Mente can beat the shit out of me. Only once. I don't really care right now. I say that, but yet here I am still going on about it again. What the fuck? Hold on. Am I missing something here? I feel like I'm missing something here. I feel like I'm being stupid, like I'm definitely missing something here. Ah, I see. That's why you gotta shoot everything in sight. Because the moment that you don't, you're not gonna figure out where you're supposed to go. We could just go downward, and then... Well, we don't really heal much, but, you know, we could always just... No way, we can't open these doors because they're locked. This one's at least open, so I guess it was kind of just pointless to go that way. Well, now that we got space jump, I think it should be fine. Yeah, okay, we can go here now. I see an upper path that I gotta go take. Yeah, I've never been a big fan of how, like, how much ridiculous amount of damage you can just take out of nowhere. Can't go there, game. Can't fucking go there. Are we going back up? Let's just go back. Let's just go fucking up. Every attack, every single, like, jump, it's just a fucking death. It's waiting. And I'm just, I'm sorry I don't accept it. It'd be a much easier let's play if I did it this way. Was I supposed to missile that? No, okay. But sometimes I feel like you're supposed to missile those. And that's just door. Why did I not think that one through? I don't know. Honestly, I'm probably better off just trashing the recording at this point, judging by how much I fucked up. And how much I will probably continue to fuck up things. And I got hit. That's not good. I'm probably gonna die. These little fuckers. Did I just clip his wings? I don't know. It'd be kind of cool if you could. I mean, maybe you can. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like there's not really anywhere I can truly go right now, game. I mean... At best, I guess we'll just have to go back out here, but there's always fucking something, isn't there? Yep, always. Well, how the hell do I get down there, then? Because I see that little path, and I want to get down there. I want to find out how to get down there again. Well, I'll save him. I'll take that. Because we almost nearly died. <laughs> okay, yeah, technically we died a ton of times, but... Oh. Wait, wasn't I here early? No, wait, hold on. I don't think so. God, I'm so tired of this fucking auxiliary power shit being off. Just fuck off, man. Leave me alone. It always just bugs me, because, like, you can never really see, like, what's coming up. Well, you know what? Fine. Whatever. We saved the game. Fine. I'll fucking play legit, sort of. Kind of. 
I mean, yeah, I know. Trial and error. I get it. But I just kind of wish that there was like a, a, like a hint. Like, yeah, there's a guy there, you know. Just something to kind of like just let me know that it's coming. I mean, I guess that was kind of my fault for jumping a little too high too fast. So I can't really blame the game. And once again, just being kind of a dumbass about things. But that's all right. That's all right. We can go up. I mean, why not? I guess. Might not have full access to whatever we need. And might not be able to get in anywhere because it's all vegetative and looks like, uh, yeah, there ain't no way of getting in there. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, you might come back from it. Oh, okay. If I'm not mistaken, it looks like we're going to have to go there and go and somehow, there it is. I was going to say, sometimes those are kind of easy to spot. Um, they tend to be a little bit easier to kind of catch than some other shootable objects are. Usually like with bomb areas and shit, I feel. Okay, good, you can do that, nice. But yeah, reds don't give you full energy, but they give you like a ton of just energy in general. Oh yeah, that's right. Get out of the fucking plant. Jeebus. So these little fuckers, um, they tend to kind of like suck you in. And that's like the major problem. And you want to watch out for the pollen shit because obviously if you get hit by it, you're going to, well, you're going to get hit and possibly knocked into, you know, the man-eating plants pretty much. So yeah, it's, it's basically just a case of this. It's kind of funny how like every time I play Metroid, I kind of just bang my head against the wall and hope that eventually insert thing will die. You know? Yeah, what sucks is, like, you can't really, like, shoot it while it's shooting itself. Fuck that shit. No. Tired of this fucking bullshit. No health fucking bullshit. Taking so much fucking damage bullshit. Mmm. <laughs> Ugh, for the love of cock. I don't want to go back. And, you know, again, it is just a case of getting good, I know. Oh, that's right. I forgot they do shit like that. You're an asshole. You're an actual asshole. Fuck it, whatever. <laughs> I'm getting quite angry right now. Again, I know it's just a case of get good. I get it. I don't like how sometimes, like, you shoot it, but, yeah, it's, like, too early. That's not a game problem. That's a me problem. So, no wonder I took a lot of fucking damage, though, because, uh, yeah, that was Plasma Beam the entire goddamn time. But now we can do this. We can finally just... just Fucking, why did I spit all over the place? I don't know. We can finally destroy these little assholes in potentially, like, less than a few shots. Plasma Beam is definitely absolutely one of the better upgrades of just pretty much any Metroid game, really, to be fair. I, you know what? I'll say except for Prime, kind of, because I feel like I'd rather just use regular shots, because I feel like Prime's plasma shot is just mostly there for, like, Oh, hey, we are like a fire thing, I guess. Like, you open fire doors. Kind of. 
Um, let me see here. To the right, there's a thing there that I guess I haven't done because now, the, well, now that the vegetation's gone, I can finally enter through doors that I couldn't enter through before. But yeah, um, the one way that we're gonna be able to even potentially get better defense, unfortunately, is just gonna have to be due to like gravity shoot, gravity suit. I don't know why I said that in such a fucking dumbass way. Yeah, gravity suit is going to be the only option to get, like, that extra defense. Varia suit doesn't really do much to help. Some games it does. Sometimes, some... A few games it does actually give you, like, that extra defense, but sometimes it doesn't. Oh, that just sends me to fucking... This one. Most likely, we're going to have to go back and then go talk to the navigation, the computer. Okay, so you can't knock down there. Oh, I'm going to move my fucking controller. It's just going to keep banging on the... I'm gonna fuck it, actually. It's gonna keep banging on the fucking thing. On oh, my stupid desk here, making noise. I don't like that. So now I gotta, I gotta be careful. Although you could say, like, well, what's the point of potentially being careful of something that, like, you're just gonna fucking not bother with anyway? Wait, what the hell? Where are those, where are those coming from? Okay, see, the thing is, like, this, yeah, this entire room is just kind of nothing. It's just, yeah, it's mostly just nothing. I like how I could easily just go on the main path if I just chose to, but I just never do. Because I always tend to forget, like, not necessarily, like, where the main path is, but just more so I get distracted by a thing, and then I go try to do that thing, and then, well, what ends up happening is I get distracted, and, well, I forget. So somehow, I'm just gonna fucking power bomb this shit. I don't know. I don't care anymore. Power bombs, you know, you'll get them back. Well, we broke a thing. We killed those guys. But now I don't know exactly how you're supposed to get down into there. So, oof. Now nah, fuck it. Whatever. All right, let's go save. Down the safe side. Again, not like it really matters, I guess, considering the fact that I'm just gonna fucking safe state all this shit anyway. Wait, we were here like a second ago. What am I doing? <laughs> oh well. Also, thank God for space jump. One of life's greatest achievements. Well, that and also screw attack, technically, but yeah. So this will probably just lead me maybe back to the main way. Yeah. Pretty much. So I think that's Sorry, I think that's technically where we, we where, where we need to be going. But where I want to go is I want to check out this little spot here and see if there's anything in here at all worth getting. Wow, power bomb the entire fucking room, not a single wall broke. Am I dumb or or what? Because I would assume that if I power bombed it, you know I would assume they would tell me yeah there's a thing there there's a, there's a thing that you can get there's like a bomb thing you could have blown up there's a there's a rocket thing there you know anything of the sort but i guess that's not the case i guess that's just not going to cover it today huh uh yeah okay so we need to get on the left side not the right side cuz that's not the good side Right now. And by the way, now that it, now that I think about it, what I just said, I'm not making a political joke by any means at all. I'm literally not. It just like I thought of it like right after. I'm like that could be probably misconstrued as a political joke, and I I don't think I want to do that. So yeah, probably should. All right, so now we finally made it back to the fucking navigation room, Jesus, and we beat I. I guess you could say it was a boss. I mean, it kind of acts like one, sort of. It doesn't really move much, but still. What? You've restored plasma beam functionality? Most unexpected. Even so, continue to avoid the SAX. The two may be stronger, and you still look... Still like a few abilities. Crucial survival. Wait, wait a second. More trouble. Hold on. There's been an explosion in the Arc Data Room. Uh-oh. Gotta go to Sector 5 now. Oh, boy. Yes. 
The damage is staggering. Alright, well, cool. Yeah, don't worry, I don't think the video is desynced, I just have a late reaction with reading shit. So, yeah. What else is new? I have delayed reading skills. Oh, we gotta run all the fucking way to Sector 5. Jesus Christ. Well, at least you can do something like this. You know, just speed boost your way through, and then all of a sudden, there you are, you finally made it. I guess. Alright. So, who blew up what now? And let me guess, I'm pretty sure I know exactly who. A creature kept by the researcher who named it the Nightmare. Oh, okay. Never mind. Wait, biomechanism. Uh-oh. You mean like, like a bio broly? <laughs> but you can't confirm the objective. What do you mean you can't tell me where the fuck it's at? Although I might have a good idea where it might be. I don't know. I kind of hate how the fucking save room's like all the way up here. Well, I mean, to be fair, there's like another save room we can go to eventually. I would assume. I would assume so. I think I have a weird habit of, like, itching my head, I've noticed. Like, whenever I'm just, like, not doing anything, I just start to, like, scratch at my head like an idiot. I probably do have lice or dandruff of some sort. I just don't know. Oh, that's right. It's fucking screw attack shit. God damn it. Fuck. Well, then, like, how do you get into the actual object in question, then? That makes no fucking sense. Alright, so the best thing I think we're going to have to do is just go check out... Actually, I think he leads us there. I think if we just follow the destruction of chaos and mayhem, then I'm pretty sure we'll probably get a good idea where the fuck the thing went. Which I think is a pretty cool way to way to do it. I think that's good game design, honestly. Also, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember exactly who Nightmare was, uh, we're in for a hell of a time. And these fucking things, so... The problem with space pirates underwater is there's like a certain variant, I think. Not necessarily space pirate variant, but I think if you kill a space pirate, I think they can turn into a fish. That's like an armored fish, and those are not fun to fight. And also, if you're familiar with space pirates and how they work, uh, they're assholes. But yeah, these little prana guys. Yeah, they. Oh, then they can turn into those fuckers, too. Sorry if I don't remember exactly, but. I'm trying to remember which Metroid it was that had... It was Zero Mission. What am I talking about? It was Zero Mission. Where, like, you got space pirates that are just so fucking deadly and so annoying and just... In the worst places, uh, which basically is just the Zero Suit section. I don't know how many people actually enjoy the Zero Suit check... check I don't know how many people like those sections, to be honest, but I always kind of did. Well, not at first. Not when I first played Zero Mission. I fucking hated him. I remember when I first ever played the game, I couldn't get past it, and I was like, this fucking sucks. This is fucking bullshit. Like, I basically beat the game. I beat Mother Brain. That's good enough. And to be fair, like, yeah, I, you know, I still, theoretically, I guess, beat the game. You know, because... That, the original game was mostly just, you know... Mother Brain. So, also, I assume that I probably needed to use Power Bomb to get Power Bomb upgrade anyway. So I wouldn't really call that a waste of Power Bomb. In case anybody might have thought I was wasting a Power Bomb. Ow! So I kind of, like, picked up my thumb there, and I guess I scratched too hard that fucking skin came off. Oh, damn, I guess I, I somehow went in deep. Uh, I don't remember having a scab there. It just... <laughs> I guess I do now. Okay, cool. I didn't know my own strength, I guess, sometimes. That's something I'm kind of curious about. So, like, you know, in a case like Superman, right? Like, he's kind of, like, really powerful and what have you. If he was to, like, scratch himself, would it basically be about the same damage to his body that he would do to, like, particularly somebody else, I guess? But, like, since he's Superman, he wouldn't be able to take as much damage, I mean, technically, because, you know, he's still Superman, so... I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't know. So then, uh, in that case, like, his strength and his defense kind of, like, outweigh each other and kind of, like, I guess, balance that. Oh, yeah, so basically, this is Nightmare. 
Uh, he's a bit of a dick. He's got, like, gravity shit that he does, which, you know, if you couldn't tell already, like... By what potential upgrade we might end up getting, then this will pre pretty much be, like, your good kind of sort of dead giveaway. Technically. He's just a bit of an ass to take care of, though. Uh, mainly because of that gravity thing. But then after you take that out, you know, he melts his face off, and then you kind of have to get around the room. Uh, you don't want him to attack you, of course, because you don't want to take that damage. We yeah, space jump the shit out of this room. Um, it's kind of hard to do sometimes, but... Yeah, I don't have the best of tips or advice for this. Besides the obvious of, like, just don't get hit. But that's not going to cover everybody's bases, of course. One thing I can say for sure is just... If you can, you know, get to that spot. St like, honker down on that ladder and then just spam missiles. The thing they obviously want you to do is, like, either... You know, somehow, like, get underneath him or whatever. Just, like, you know... Jump over him at the right time and all that. And make sure that you're above the lasers and... Mash the fuck out of those missiles. And I think he's dead. And this... Boss... Alongside, like... That Ridley... Uh... Frozen and ice looking thing, or basically that Ridley sculpture, I guess you could say. Those are what I would consider the oh, and SAX just in general. Those are what I would say are the epitome of like the horror aspect of the game. Like those are what makes it a horror game, in my opinion. And I'm not, I'm not like the only person that thinks that either, because like I feel like a lot of people kind of tend to to see Metroid Fusion as a horror game to some degree. That's really it kind of is. Especially in comparison to like, oh, like other Metroid games. What's funny too is I guess you could say Metroid Fusion is kind of the Majora mas Majora's Mask of like Metroid games. And at least I feel like it is because it's definitely a lot more somewhat darker themed, I guess. What the fuck? Sorry, my TV was acting up over there. There's a lot more, like, particular darker themes going on, and a lot more, uh, what's the word for it? Um, what's that word where it's, like, not, not, not necessarily grotesque, but something that's, like, I don't know. Yeah, I guess grotesque could be probably the better way of putting it, I guess. Wasn't there a thing in there? Like, I have to speed boost into that. I don't think I've ever outran space pirate bullshit before. Oh, wait, I think we're... Wait, do we gotta go here? We gotta go fast? Yeah, I guess we probably do kind of have to go here. Either we do, or this is just a case of... Cool, you found, like, a... Potential secret area you could technically go through. Yeah, yeah, these guys right here. Um, I thought it was the space pirates that do it. I don't think it is. I think it's just mostly only really the piranha fish guys that I think turn that into it. You gotta be fucking kidding me with this crap. What's this one? How do I get this one? Always. But, you know, again, at least we know for potentially next time that that's there, so... Maybe or maybe not, I might end up doing, like, a potential cleanup thing. Uh, I wouldn't count on it, but there's always potential for things, you know? Never know, exactly. Oh, fuck it, duck. Well, hopefully I can get into a data room, and then we can, you know, get... Not a data room, but, like, a navigation room, and then figure out if we're supposed to be here right now or not. But, I mean, we got gravity suits, so... I would assume that this would be the place they want me to go to. I'm not going to go down yet. Well, hold on. Well, hold on. Where where does what lead to what? Okay. Uh, erm, um, okay. Erm, um, okay, Dace. Yeah, okay, so... 
this shit sucks. <laughs> uh, I've never been a fan of this level in particular, to be honest with you. I'm not a big fan of just water levels in Metroid games anyway. But that's just kind of always been the case for me. Mainly because of Meridia. It just pisses me off from Super Metroid. And then there's like that one water area in like Metroid um, Prime. And yeah. Although I love Metroid Prime. I love me some good old fashioned Metroid Prime. Because it's technically like the... It, it's what I would consider the tied option for my favorite Metroid games. Because they kind of do tie a bit. Zero Mission, Dread, Prime. Mainly because, like, in my opinion, Zero Mission is the quintessential, like, really good, solid, you know, Met it's it's a good Metroid 1 remake. It's good, uh, Metroid game. And then on top of that, there's also, like, Dread, which I think is just fucking great anyway. Yeah, I know, it's a bit more on the casual, friendly side of things, but... I still enjoyed it a lot. I still thought it was pretty fun. It still was a decent Metroid game. Hold on, I think I went the wrong way again. Yeah, I just don't remember how the fuck... They want you to get through here then if they're gonna lock me out of everything. Okay, game. Whatever you say. Oh yeah, we came down from that, yeah. Red doors are closed, so we pretty much gonna have to figure out a way to get those motherfuckers open. And I don't remember exactly how we're supposed to blow this up. I don't think you're supposed to, maybe. Yeah, I think they're just, like, extra little energy things you can get, because we couldn't power bomb it, so... Oh, let me guess. I'm stuck here, huh? I fucked up. I fucked up royally. Yeah, I don't know if we're supposed to be in the water area just yet. I think I might have gotten a little too far ahead of myself here. Uh, maybe. Maybe it's her fur. I mean, there's no... Yeah, we don't have red door access yet, so we're going to have to go do that. Although, I think the data room up here should be red door access, right? I think. I should have just taken that... I should have just taken the hint. Like, the moment you see fucking red door access things, you're like, yeah, I should probably just fuck off. I think if I remember correctly, there might have been... No, I don't think that... I don't think that glass chamber had... Or that tunnel. I don't think it had... God, for fuck's sake. So we went the wrong way. Okay, well, that's good to know now. Yeah, I don't remember this one having anything. Also, usually, uh, for Metroid games, you just want to bomb tunnels. If you see a tunnel, there's a good chance there's at least something there. But... Well, what do you know? I was wrong. There was something here, at least. And here I was thinking there there wouldn't be. Good thing we have this, though, because um, these guys would fucking suck without it. You had to missile them and shit, and then, yeah, that would be very fun. Would, would you just fuck off, dude? Go away. God damn. So, I have a lot of good things to say about... Met, you know, I got a lot of good things to say about Fusion, of course. But if I had to say that there was a couple things I didn't like. One of them, you know, I, I've explained earlier. But I think the other thing I just haven't really liked. Uh, I, I can appreciate it, but it's more so like... I'm not a big fan of it, you know? I'm just not a big fan of it. Is the whole parasite thing having to fly off and then become something else. Which kind of sucks because... You kind of have to you know, go out of your way to get it, and sometimes you're forced not to be able to collect it, basically, and yeah, it kind of adds for difficulty, I'm, I guess, makes the game a bit harder, I guess, but I don't know, it's just always one of those things, like, it, to be fair, X Parasites are at, le at least a bit more interesting than just energy balls, so there's that, it's more so like, I just fucking hate having, like, an enemy that I killed, that I forgot that I killed, and then he just becomes, like, a fucking space pirate. You know? But then again, I guess you could say that's a consequence of my own stupidity for not actually going out of my way to... Wait. No. 
You're not gonna fuck me. You're not gonna fuck me. I saw that. I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's like rocket things up here. What? No? Wait, no. You're not gonna actually fuck me, right? Like, you're not gonna... No. Game. Ugh. Okay, so either I'm dead fucking wrong and I don't remember where to go. Or we're actually fucking stuck. I mean, because there was like that one... I bet everybody's just... I bet everyone right now watching is just crinkling their toes in anger at me right now. Wondering why the fuck I didn't just go through like the... You know, the obvious bomb path thing earlier. Like, why didn't you just do that correctly? I fucking did. I don't know why, but for some damn stinking reason, there doesn't seem to be anything. There's this random fucking block. Won't blow that up? Nothing. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is the part I don't like. It's just like they fucking keep spawning more douchebags. And it pisses me off. It's like, I already took out the first ass wipe. You know, even if you spawn another one, like, you could always just, I don't know, not spawn more. That'd be nice. Yeah, I don't know, it's just one of the few things I can say I don't like. I don't like fully, how about that? I don't want to come off like a raging douche or anything like that. I don't have that much ill will toward Metroid Fusion. You know, I think it's a fine game. It just kind of has, and I know I'm going to get yelled at for this, it kind of has like the other M type situation where it's a bit more linear than your regular run-of-the-mill Metroid game is. But at least if we were to compare the two, then you could say that at least with a game like this, uh, it's technically a lot less linear than other M was, to be frank. So yeah, am I missing something here, or am I just that dumb? I, I'm i missing something, alright. This was supposed to be a fucking path, wasn't it? It's not. What makes me angry, though, is I could have sworn. I could have sworn. That there's like a way to get down there. I just... I think I'm just being dumb. I, I'm just missing, missing something, I don't know. It's like, I blow up all this shit, right? Like, how do you get to... How do you get down there, then? Wait, there's a falling one, isn't there? That's... That's, like, that's gotta be it, right? There's gotta be one that's, like, a... A thing you fall down from, but, like, I... Don't see it, I can't feel it, I don't... There's nothing... Oh, for crying out loud. I can't be sequenced broken, right? Like, I, I can't be stuck, right? Like, you're not actually gonna do this to me, game, right? Like, just tell me where the fuck I'm, I'm missing here. I don't know. I think every time I get here, I always end up looking it up, because I'm like, where the fuck do I go? I think I might just do that. I think I might just end the video and just do that. Worst part is, like, I'm running out of power bombs to... You know, get myself out of the situation. <laughs> and I don't think these ass wipes give me power bombs. I'll try one more. Yeah, I might have to just look it up and try to remember where the fuck they go. Cause I'm stuck again. <laughs> uh, I'm actually confused. And getting kind of a bit angry right now with this shit. I could have sworn that you would just fall down here or something. I don't know. Like, there's got to be, like, a small block or something that you fall from. But there's just nothing spawning. And I don't think the game is broken. I just don't understand why... No, I really don't understand. Like, what did I do wrong? Did I really sequence break that hard that I can't escape now? I swear, I swear to God, if it was, I'd fucking quit. I'd quit this shit in a heartbeat. Because it'd make me so fucking pissed. I don't know, I'm gonna go fucking, I guess, stop the recording and then remember how to look it up and figure out where the fuck to go. So, hope you guys enjoyed my getting lost, and uh, I'll see you all next time. And as always, take care, 
everybody.